Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about how you can backup your uh, laptop with an M.2 SSD drive. If you have an external enclosure, that's great. So you're going to be having a faster speed on the transfer rate, but you can do everything that I show you in this video with the SATA drive, USB 3.0 enclosures, anything external possible. But what I'm going to show you will erase the entire data of your destination drive, which means your backup drive. I'm going to clone my internal hard drive into an external hard drive, just in case if I have any problem with my operation system, I need to reboot it. I don't want to lose any time, reinstall every little app, like the probably browsers, codecs, add-ons, Adobe applications, Steam games, whatever you want to call it. So this is an Asus VivoBook. 16x laptop and it has many problems with the blue screens that's why i'm doing it just in case what i'm going to do this is a enclosure from ugreen but it doesn't matter what matters is the speed if you want to make it faster as you can see this is the m.2 inside so i'm going to connect it i'm going to open up the obs so you can see what i'm doing more clearly in a close-up i'm going to screen capture run normally Let's see. Okay, OBS is recording. And what I'm going to do is open up the Laser Soft. Laser Soft is a software. It's free. You can also pay and get additional features, but it's it will get the job done. We can create a boot secure USB thumb drive so we can start up our drive. And just in case if you have an image backup, we can reinstall that image to our internal drive. But in this video, I'm going to clone because clone takes five seconds to change. You just un unscrew the already M.2 or SATA drive that you have and you replace the drive with your, with your basically clone. So this is a disk image and clone on the left, bottom left. And we got a couple of options. Backup drive to image first, which means we're going to uh, convert a full hard drive into an image file. That will work if you have a bigger hard drive, external drive, and you want to get back from that drive. But I'm going to clone. It will be much easier to recover. So restore image to drive is the second option if you have a potential image that you have already made. But I'm going to go directly to the clone. First, you're going to be asked with the source file. Source file, as you can see up top, it says Samsung. The second drive, it shows as a USB drive. That's easier to see. So this is my source and USB will, my, will be my destination. So I'm not going to click sector by sector. I don't care the sector uh, of the drive. I only care about the data that I have. So I'm going to click next. The second is the destination drive, as you can see above. So I'm going to use the USB device. So the last section is important. We're going to erase entire data of the destination drive. Don't forget, if you have a precious data, just back up somewhere else. We get a couple of options. Copy without resizing partitions. If you have same exactly drive, no problem. But if you have one terabyte to back up or clone to two terabytes or four terabytes, you got a good option like fit partitions, which means it's going to enlarge your main windows partition you don't have to have to do anything later on when you reinstall your clone second backup drive so i'm going to hit, uh, hit fit partitions but you can also shrink partitions if you have a bigger drive like one terabyte or two terabyte and if you want to clone it to let's just say 500 gigabytes then shrinking will be your solution it will shrink the main windows partition so you got proper partition map on your drive so fit partitions and create a disk signature of your target drive will help you to boot easy because just in case it needs to identify this as a same windows installation that's the matter because we're going to replace it and we're going to continue our lives that's the main point of this video so hit the start it will be overwritten and all data will be lost i say okay why not because i already know so it will try to create a backup file. It'll take a couple of seconds to get it, get everything processed. Meanwhile, don't do anything because it's going to try to backup. Uh, on the fly, 
files might not be backed up. So don't browse, don't download stuff. Just lay down your computer, don't touch it. As you can see, we have a timeline here and at the bottom we got shut down the computer when the operation is completed. You can click it, it will help because when that happens, it will close itself. The last section that you want to be careful about it, when you get your clone finished and the sh computer has shut down, take out the drive that you already have inside of your computer and install your clone drive and test it. See if it works properly. That way you can understand it's been done correctly from A to Z. Uh, so you don't have any problem with your clone and don't insult me later on. Uh, not saying that in a, as a caution. So it started. It will take for this drive to clone with my uh, type C connection, with my converters and with my data. It's going to take about 15 minutes. And after that, uh, I'll be okay because I already done the same procedure with my other M.2, right now I have one clone. This is my main drive. This is my first clone. And this is going to be my second clone. If you have drives, just keep that in mind. If you clone, you don't have to install anything after this procedure. You just change the drive just in case your Windows fails or you got virus, any kind of problem. You're not going to be installing the apps, codecs, browsers, passwords, any installation registration key, no problem. You're going to have your entire Windows set up, entire program set up with add-ons, everything that you have. And one important thing in this situation, if you're going to, you know, get back to your old clone, let's just say six months, one year, that means you're going to probably need to update your programs. That's going to be the only case, but it's not going to take so much of a time. But again, if you have files like photos, videos, or emails that you have to back up, for that clone, you have to re-clone in a cycle, or you have to take your backup to files to an external drive, just in case. This is recovering the operation system backup, with everything included, of course. But it's not going to be recovering your rest of the files. You probably already know that, I just want you to remember this just in case you have to keep continue either cloning like this or having a separate backup files into an external drive just in case you get back to your old clone drive and have to get your files from that other drive. And I don't have anything else to say. This procedure will be finished and you'll be having another uh, perfect PC installation or at least the one that you already have. I recommend at least get one clean Windows installation and every program that you have and get one clone like that, just in case later on if you want a clean PC and get another drive for a regular clone backup that will make things easier for you. Because sometimes you want to have clean Windows and app installation after a long use of Windows or uh, updates from the Windows and apps might crash, cause crash on your system. And that's it. Hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. Just subscribe if you want to learn more. And, you know, if you can hype and like, that'll help the channel. You ask the questions that might become the tutorials. And until the next video, Hoshakal.